Okay, now I'm going to show you guys how to use the effects layers. Um, it's similar to an adjustment layer, um, except it's used to create some uh, things that are a little more stylistic. Um, so you go down here to click this little button that says EFF, that's the effects layer. And on Photoshop, it'll be FX. Okay, and you'll see here that I have my layer selected. This isn't the same as an adjustment layer where whatever happens to the layer below it um, or layers below the layer you select will happen to all of those layers. It only happens to the layer that you're selecting. So I have my layer selected and let's say I wanted to create a shadow. Um, I can adjust how far that shadow goes. And if you look behind the pumpkin, you can start to see a little shadow materializing. Okay, I can change the opacity that makes it darker or lighter. So that can, um, you can try to match that to the photo you're looking at. Obviously if it is a shadow that dark, it wouldn't really match. Getting a little bit closer and closer. Um, that's something you can play with. The distance um, will decide how big it is, like how far that shadow is stretching. So that's like if you have um, different daylight settings that you were taking your picture in, that'll um, allow you to kind of play with how the shadows stretch depending on the um, position of the sun in the sky. Okay, and then and then I can also alter where that shadow is falling by um, playing with the dial here for the angle. So you can try to match it up with the shadows on your building or whatever your project's shadows are looking like. Okay. And you can see here this icon if you're um, having any confusion on your image, maybe like the shadows are a little bit too dark in the background, so it's hard to see it. You can see on this icon right here what's happening to your object. So you can see that distance is going further and further away. You can see that the angle is changing position. You can see how the opacity is changing. Okay, and you can use some of these other options. You can play around with those on your own. But yeah, you can see that this is how we can start using the effects to create some more believable imagery. Okay, and then you can see right here on your layer that it shows the effect has been used.